how's it going? Good. After this long road trip with Chris, we made it to Bruno's barn where we're gonna rescue some Hungarian pigs. Thanks for being I'm here. I'm excited to finally meet these piglets. Yes, they are so cute. I know. We are a very small nonprofit organization uh, with our focus is on rescuing pigs. We ended up with seven Mangalisa pigs here. They're a pig, but they look like a sheep. I was contacted by a farmer who lives pretty close to us, actually, and she was raising them, and she wanted to find them forever homes. Hey. How's it going? I'm Dan. I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Nice to John. meet you. John, Hi, pleasure. I'm Sarah, and this is my family. We used to raise pigs to butcher them and fell in love with them, decided we had a change of heart, and we couldn't do that. It's great to meet you, and... Thank you for reaching out to give them the pigs and try to find a home. Are you excited to see the piglets again after yeah. they got bigger? We haven't seen them since they were born. Well, since we gave them up. Go play Wanna with see them. them. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. The piglets are back in this area okay. here. Boy. <laughs> wow, they are tall. Look yes. at their legs. Oh, wow. You're right? Yeah. They are adorable. Aren't they? And you can tell they already have the curly hair coming yeah. in. Yeah. They're hardy, which is one of the reasons why we yeah. you know, looked at them, but they're also very sociable and get attached to them. Just like doggies. <laughs> yes. Hi. Mm -hmm. They got longer snouts. They do. As you can see, looking around here, they, they use them. <laughs> <laughs> they come up to you and they just want to be scratched. And you just sit and pet them for hours. Oh my gosh, their hair, I've never. Right? Oh, it's not coarse at all. This is insane. <laughs> the, the whole start for deciding to, to go down this path and, you know, try and eat a healthy lifestyle, you know, help sustain the family mm -hmm. and... Um, kind of like a homestead type. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You know, the, the whole socialization and getting to know them and then their personalities coming out as they started to trust us. And Was there like a particular moment that made your mind shift? Yeah, his name was Waffles. And uh, he got sick. I took him to the vet multiple times trying to get him better. And, um, you know, he'd be on my lap and just sitting and petting him and other people coming up and petting him. And, uh, the last time I took him, unfortunately, he passed away on the way to the vet. Aw, that was I'm tough. Sorry. Comes a family member when you're taking him to the oh. hospital and then you're rooting for him. That was kind of the start of it for me. Yeah, he started tearing up immediately about waffles. He's still dealing with it. His life compass has changed from farming animals to not farming animals. It's yeah. a huge deal. He's changing how he grew up and yes. his culture and he's doing it because he believes it's the right thing. We both are doing something so amazing, giving them forever homes. We both will take yes. care of these piggies yep. like their family. Mm -hmm. So appreciate that. I think it's been a good experience here and it'll be enjoyable to see them, you know, go off to their forever home and you know, it'll be a little bittersweet, but uh, looking forward to it. Thanks for sharing your story. It's touched me and it means a lot. Seriously. Thank so. you. Okay, hey, thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Too. All right, bye. Thank you very much. Yep. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> I know what I'm going to name him. John. <laughs> You're going to be John. Baby John. OK. Oh. You know who this is? No. Chris Jr. Chris Jr.? Chris Jr. OK. Yeah, CJ. Hi, Chris Jr. So we're going to take two boys, two dudes, they get to come back on a road trip with two dudes. With two dudes. Two dudes and two pigs in a van. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's weird. It's gonna smell. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> this is our ferret. We came to get his claws cut. He came to us with the name Fat Guy, and then we just kept it that way, because it suited him. <laughs> He's really, really lazy. We've had him for about two years now. They're fun pets. Um, I guess if you treat them right. I know a lot of people say they they like to bite, but he's all right, especially with kids. I have a seven-year-old and a 13-year-old, and he's pretty good with them. Yay. We're just going to trim his nails today? Yeah. OK. Do you know how to, like, scruff him and stuff? Oh, like a cat? Yeah. And then they'll do He's yawning? <laughs> yeah. Just hold him like that, and then okay. I'll, I'll start on the back legs first. All right. Has he had this done before? No. 
I lost the clipper. You can probably just use your regular nail clippers. Okay. Now let's give him a break. Good boy. Oh. Now he might just let us do his front feet. Yeah. Oh, I think he's nervous. He's just shaky. Where'd you get him? I got him from a, a friend that asked me to watch him and his sister, and then they just left him. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yay. Okay, one more. One more side. I used to have one for a while, too, for a few years. She was a lot of fun. She was kind of like a, a cat running around the house. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're all done. There good boy, fat right. guy. He did good. Take care. All right, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> How you guys feeling? You guys yeah, ready? Right. You excited? We are so excited. <laughs> Everybody just gotta scream Mr. Pickles one more time. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Head in there. Go on in. Right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, wow. This is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is all for Pickles! This is all for Mr. Pickles. Well, and you guys. This is amazing. The yard is amazing. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm blown away. Before, this yard was an absolute dust bowl. And now it's hooked up for the entire family. I'm sorry. I'm a crier. What do you think? I think it's lovely. <laughs> First off, we got a mud pit finally for Mr. Oh Pickles. My God. We got some nice gravel. <laughs> yeah, right? We got a border around there so it's contained. It's not going to go out into the street. Wow. They're pickle proof, these fences. <laughs> Our fences are beautiful. And you see in the corner, we got a little sprinkler head. He could have a little shower. He could just play in his own mud pit. And then this is for everybody in the neighborhood that comes by. We got light snacks for Mr. Pickles. There's a little feeding tube that goes to a little tray. No way! Just get some snacks, throw it down the tube. Oh, nice. I love it. It's a gumball machine, but for pigs. I love it. A lot of the neighbors are really fanatical about Mr. Pickles. Oh, I think they're going to be coming even more now. This is just the first part. Let's everybody come inside. Yeah! You got some grass again. I know. I can't believe I have grass. I haven't seen grass in like a year. Oh, wow. And now we got a family wow. area for you guys. This is amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. oh I love it. I took the treehouse and made an observation deck for you guys. So you could sit up there, overlook the whole yard while you're having family over, friends while the neighbors are over. This yard was kind of an eyesore. We got rid of that old school planner, put some pavers down. That's why it didn't look like my front yard. <laughs> it's gone. Woo! <laughs> Pickle! Here he is. It's a watermelon, Google. Go look at more. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh, look at that. Look, look, he loves it. <laughs> oh my gosh, how fun. He's loving it. <laughs> Mr. Pickles is so excited about having his own space. He's already super happy with going in his house, having his little rooting area, busy ball. It, it's all perfect. I think he's going to be a very happy pig. It's awesome. That'll keep you busy for a while, won't it? He is a happy pig. A sun pig. So what do you think? Oh my gosh, it's amazing, Antonio. Amazing. Why are you crying? Because I'm so happy. So happy? <laughs> Was this what you were expecting? No. What would you no think? No bigger. Is it too huge? Too, too no, much? No, it's just, it's completely life-changing. This is amazing for all of us. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Awesome. Oh, he's a hugger. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys, for all your help. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Pickles. I think he's adorable. I think he's adorable. Bear swallowed something that he shouldn't have, so. We need to get Bear set up on a IV catheter, give him a chance to pass it. Ferrets are really difficult to restrain. Uh, he needs anesthesia. We're going to anesthetize him so that we can get it done quickly and get it done right. I've always wanted a ferret, but they're stinky. Ferrets are very smelly. They, um, they have two main scent glands that are removed at the breeder before they go out to pet stores. But 85% of their scent glands are on their skin, so ferrets smell musky. They are mustelids, hence <laughs> the stinkiness. Ooh. This is an, an induction chamber where the tubes are 
bringing oxygen and uh, anesthetic gas into the chamber. He's getting sleepy. <laughs> He's probably ready for this. Now we're placing a catheter into Bear. We'll get him on fluids and get him rehydrated. We need to get an e-collar so he doesn't pull out his catheter. It's going to come all the way back, yeah. You got to think this is all neck. <laughs> if we have any old x-rays lying around, We've already, we, we used to. We can make an e-collar out of old film. We used to. I'll go look. We've done it for a rat before. It's tough, durable, but also nice and light. Right now, he's doing well. He's not vomiting. He's pretty stable, so, you know, it's not, there's no rush to cut him open. Give him, give him a chance to pass it. Oh, come here. Hi. Oh. How's he doing? He's doing very, very well. Yeah. We're just giving him his morning treatments. We're starting his fluids, his bolus, giving him some food and water. He is very lively this morning. He did have stool in his litter box this morning, but I did not see anything in it. All right. He's been pooping normally. He's been eating normally, acting normal for the last 24 hours. The little mass that I could feel in his abdomen has moved down. It seems to be in the colon now. Things seem to be moving through. He's acting really perky, so I don't see any reason to keep him here longer. It's time to go home. Hello. Hi there. How are y'all today? Good. We're here to pick up beer. OK. I'll get Dr. Byer for you. Be excited. Mm -hmm. Sit down, baby girl. She's already gone through enough loss in the last two years. We lost uh, my dad, um, who actually lived with us. So I didn't want her to have to lose her animal. Howdy, guys. Hello. How are things today? Good. Good. Well, here he is. Oh He's been eating a ton. Perfect. So. You want right. to hold your ferret? Yes, please. All right. Sit down, please. So. You could feel where the, the foreign body was up until Friday morning. And Thursday night, he um, had a big poo. And whatever was causing the obstruction has moved down into the colon. He should pass that into in the next 24 hours. But if he's not eating, not drinking, not acting himself, just bring him back in. Yeah, he's so active <laughs> compared to when we brought him in. Thank you for seeing my ferret. No problem. It was my pleasure. Take good care of your friend. See you later. Thank you so much. No problem. Can you see her? There! <laughs> there! I'm really happy and surprised how quickly he came back out of it. And I'm, he recovered extremely fast. We're very grateful he is back to normal and doing amazing. You know, he's part of our family. Get my big baby. There. there you go. We could have lost him. We we're ecstatic to find out that they were able to help him with medicine and no actual surgery. This is her first animal, so I'm very grateful for Plan Pet Hood. They did a great job. He is back to normal and doing amazing. Yes, he lives. <laughs>